Native frameworks. Native means building apps specifically for one platform. For iOS, developers use Swift, and for Android, they use Kotlin. These are the official languages supported by Apple and Google, so you get full control and top performance. Native apps feel faster, smoother, and handle animations perfectly. That's why big apps like Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat all use native development. They need that flawless experience. But here's the catch. You'll have to build two separate apps if you want both Android and iOS versions. Twice the work, twice the maintenance. If you're a solo dev or a small team, that can be a lot. React Native. Created by Facebook, React Native uses JavaScript to build apps for both Android and iOS. The idea is simple. One code base that works on two platforms. It's powered by the React library, which is used for web. But instead of web elements, it renders real native components. That means your app feels like a native app, not a web page in disguise. The community is huge. Libraries for animations, APIs, icons, everything you can think of. Many big names like Facebook, Tesla, and Instagram all use it. It's fast and efficient for most apps, but when you go heavy on animations or native features, performance can need some optimization. Still, it's one of the most flexible options out there. Flutter. Google's answer to React Native, Flutter uses Dart language. What makes Flutter different is that it doesn't rely on native UI components. It draws everything on screen by itself using its own rendering engine. That means your app looks exactly the same on Android, iOS, web, and even desktop. Smooth animations, high performance, and consistent design, all from one code base. It's used by brands like Google Pay, eBay, and BMW. The only downside is app size. Flutter apps are usually larger, and Dart might take a bit of getting used to, but once you do, it's one of the most enjoyable frameworks to code in. Xamarin. Made by Microsoft, Xamarin uses C Sharp and .NET to build mobile apps. It's a great fit if you're already working in the Microsoft ecosystem. You can share code between Android and iOS, and it compiles down to native binaries, meaning the apps perform pretty well. Many enterprise-level companies still use it because it's stable and well-supported. However, it's not as trendy today. Flutter and React Native have kind of taken the spotlight, especially for startups and new projects. Ionic. Now, if you're a web developer, this one's your comfort zone. Ionic uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the same stuff you use for websites. You can combine it with frameworks like Angular, React, or Vue. It runs inside a web view, meaning it's like a web app packaged to behave like a mobile app. That makes it super quick to build and test. It's perfect for simpler apps, admin dashboards, or prototypes. But it's not ideal for animation-heavy or performance-demanding apps. If you need speed and complex visuals, you might want something else. Native Script. Native Script lets you build truly native apps using JavaScript, TypeScript, Angular, or Vue. Unlike Ionic, it doesn't rely on a web view. It talks directly to native APIs, so performance is close to native development. It's a very developer-friendly tool if you already know web tech but want to go native. The only issue is that its community isn't as large as Flutter or React Native, so finding support or tutorials might take a bit more effort. Kotlin Multi-Platform Mobile. This one's new, but clever. KMM lets you share your business logic, things like networking, database, or authentication, between Android and iOS, but still design your UI separately on each side. That means you get the benefit of shared logic and still keep a native user experience. It's efficient, modern, and especially useful for teams already using Kotlin. The setup can be a bit technical, but it's a strong direction for future mobile development.